So generate blogs or cadence blogs, which is a better Gutenberg blog plugin for layouts. If you have been following my channel, you will probably see me using cadence blogs for layouts in most of my WordPress tutorials because on top of the layout blogs, they have quite a few useful blogs like the testimonials, accordion and stuff. And although I'm a fan of the generate press team, I'm not exactly a fan of the generate blogs because there aren't many functions other than the layouts, the headline and button. But anyway, these two Gutenberg blog plugins are well known for their reliability when it comes to creating layouts for your web page. But when I suggest the Cadence Blogs to some of my subscribers who use the Generate Press team, they said they would prefer Generate Blogs because they are the most lightweight and they don't add a whole bunch of unnecessary CSS to their developments. Now, I understand Generate Press is the king in terms of speed and they are known for their lightweight team. So naturally, it gives the impression that Generate Blogs are developed the same way. And honestly, I couldn't tell them straight that Cadence Blogs will perform just as fast as Generate Blogs because I don't have any proof. So in this video, we are trying to find proof that it doesn't matter if you're using the generate blocks or the cadence blocks for layouts, they will perform just the same. So whether it is a misconception or a fact that generate blocks is faster, we we'll have to answer by the end of this video. Hey, this is Jack and if this is your first time watching a video from my channel, I share lots of WordPress tips and tutorials as well as online business content. So if you want to learn any of these topics, then subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. My only goal is to share with you ways to save lots of money for your online business using WordPress. I don't use page builders and site speed is my main focus. So if you're running an online business and you're paying hundreds of dollars to make your website work, subscribe and you'll become a money saving expert for your online business. So before we get into the test, I hope you can do me a little favor and smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. I really appreciate that and thank you. So to make this test fair, I've only used one domain for this test and as you can see from the left, this is the domain name and so is the one on the right, which means both are hosted on the same server. They are installed with the same default 2021 team. And let's go to the plugins. As you can see, the only plugins that are installed are the generate blocks and the cadence blocks. So what we are going to do is I will create two blank pages. Let's do it right now. So the one on the left will be creating the layout using only the generate blocks. And the one on the right will be using cadence blocks solely. And we're going to create something like this where there is a large image background. And then there will be four smaller images separated into four columns. And these four columns are pushed up using negative margins. With a zero margin, these four images belong over here. I'll show you what I mean later. So the reason I'm doing this is because playing around with padding and margin is the basic function of a layout. You can get the layout you want by meddling with the padding and margin. You just have to understand those concepts to create the layouts you want your site to have. So without further ado, let's first add the layout. Over here, the generate blocks, it works a little different from cadence blocks and it starts with a container. So under the container section, let's go to the settings and the background. Let's add an image. So this is the image we are going to use. Let's select this and then under the spacing, let's add a top padding of 25. The right, we will put it as zero. The bottom, we will put it as 285. And then the left padding, we'll put it as zero. Let's save this first and let's do this on Cadence. Let's add block, browse all. So this is under Cadence blocks. I'll select row layout. And then for this, I'll select one column. So now here's the difference I want to show you. Under generate blocks, when you create a container, they will only have the container section. But for the cadence blocks, when you select the row layout, they have this section as well. So basically, this section represents the grid in generate blocks. So if you add a block and let's go to generate blocks, this is the grid and this grid is equivalent to this section over here. So just take note that on generate blocks, they separate the row layout and the section, but in cadence blocks, they actually merge them together. So anyway, I've selected the row layout layer, which is the container. Let's go to settings, background settings. Let's add an image. This is the same image we've used for generate blocks. Let's select this and then let's do the same padding and margin. At the top, we have 25. Let's take a look at this. The top padding, we have 25 and the bottom padding, we have 285. So the bottom, we'll just put the same and we're done. Next, let's add the four images in four columns. So let's do it on generate blocks first. So we'll first need to add a container. Let's shift this down. And then within the container, we add the grid. And in this grid, we'll select four columns and then we'll add the images.
Now let's select this container and let's go to the settings. Under the spacing, under the top margin, we'll put it as negative 200 so that all the four images will be pushed up and then we'll remove all the padding. So this is basically what we want. Let's update this. And now let's work on the cadence blocks. Let's add block, browse all, let's put that row layout. And then immediately they'll ask you what grid you want to choose. Because as I said, they combine a container and a grid. So let's select this and let's add the same images. And then let's select the row layout, go to the settings, padding and margin. We'll remove all the padding. And for the margin, we'll put it as negative 200. Let's update this and let's see how the pages look like. So they are basically identical. So now let's do the test. Let's go to Google PageSpeed Insights. And let's do the test. First test, the result is this bad because of this deuce initial server response time. So normally when we have this issue, we'll not count this as a successful test. So we'll do it again. So the result seems fair for this, but let's record an average of five results. I think this way it will be more accurate instead of immediately emitting cadence blocks is faster. So let's do this test again. And there we have it. This is the final result. So as you can see, the overall rating cadence blocks seem to perform a little better. The first contentful pane, time to interactive and cumulative layout shift are the same. The speed index and the largest contentful pane cadence blocks seem to perform a little better. And finally, generate blocks perform a little better than cadence blocks on the total blocking time. So I'm right about this. In terms of the layout, the speed for both the generate blocks and the cadence blocks is almost identical. I wouldn't say one is faster than the other. And when it comes to the user friendliness, cadence blocks is much much easier to use than generate blocks. Let me show you an example. So since we know the speed performance of both blocks are comparable, I want to show you one more thing. And this will put cadence blocks ahead of generate blocks. Let's take a look at how both pages will look like on mobile. So basically by default, they are one column. And let's say I want to make these images into two columns. So on cadence blocks, when we go to the page editor and we select the row layout and then the mobile view, we can basically select two columns over here and you'll see that these four images will be put to two columns. And let's update this, refresh, and it will look this way. But if you want to try doing this on generate blocks, here are the things I need to do. I have to click on each of the images and resize it to 50% and then I need to select the image container layer and change the container width to 50% and I have to repeat the steps for each of the images. So there are a lot more steps to do on generate blocks and it makes cadence blocks looks a lot more user friendly. So I still stand true to what I recommend. I highly recommend that you design the layout of your website using cadence blocks because it is more user friendly and it has more design blocks and it performs just as well as generate blocks. So the next time somebody says to me to use generate blocks because they are faster, I have an in-depth proof that it is a misconception. So I hope to get a thumbs up from you and if you like content about WordPress and online business, do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to get notified whenever a new video is published on my channel. Anyway, thank you for sticking around and if you're interested to learn how to use cadence blocks to create your home page or landing pages, you can check out these tutorials here. I promise you'll become a WordPress expert if you follow through all the steps in the videos. All the best to you, take care and stay safe.